The local police departments are the target of a $100 million lawsuit tonight. It accuses Gross Point Farms and Gross Point Woods Police of a cover-up in the death of Joanne Matuk Romaine. She was found dead in the Detroit River four years ago, and police concluded she took her own life. But her family believes it was murder and accuses police of botching the investigation. And while the Romaine family is now demanding millions of dollars, 7 Action News has learned some new information about their efforts to access cash in the past. And tonight, 7 investigator Heather Catalo takes a closer look at some of the claims in the new lawsuit. It's been more than four years since Joanne Matuk Romaine died. Her children believe she was murdered. Police in both Gross Point Farms and Gross Point Woods say there's no evidence to suggest Romaine's death was anything other than a suicide. In a lawsuit filed today, Romaine's children allege that 20 different police officers in both departments conspired to cover up her murder. But Romaine's daughter Michelle tells 7 Action News she doesn't know of any motive for the police to not pursue the case. Past interviews with Gross Point Farms police and law enforcement records indicate that when an officer on patrol found the vehicle that Romaine had been driving back in January of 2010 near a church, they launched immediately into a rescue operation. They thought someone had gone into the icy waters of Lake St. Clair. The reason they thought that? Footprints in the snow across the street appeared to walk into the water and not return. You can see there's an impression where someone sat on the top part of the brake wall and slid down to the lower brake wall, sat there and then apparently slid into the water. There's no return tracks. Now the Romaine family is alleging that that premise was fabricated. Their lawsuit claims there could not be footprints near the vehicle because the pavement was dry. But this police report obtained by the seven investigators doesn't reference footprints near the car, just the prints by the water where there was snow as seen in these photographs. The report goes on to say no other footprints prints were observed in this immediate area indicating a second person was present. It also appeared that there was no sign of a struggle in the footprints that were present. Police have told us in the past their own footprints from the rescue effort that ensued ended up all over the search scene. Romaine's body wasn't found until three months later, several miles downriver near Amherstburg, Ontario. Anybody that had suggested she was suicidal, um, it was all false information. But sources tell 7 Action News that Joanne Matuk Romaine was in severe financial distress, which could have been a reason for suicide. Here's what else 7 Action News has learned about the family's finances. According to this police report from St. Clair Shores, Romaine's daughter and other relatives brought an 89 year old aunt into a local bank to withdraw $216,000 in cash from the aunt's annuity account. The aunt returned to the bank four days later, asking to put all of the money back into an account. The aunt told the bank manager that she had felt pressured into giving her family the cash and that, quote, her family said the money was to get their mother back from the people that had her, but she doesn't know why the family didn't want to tell the police about this. A spokesman for Michelle Romaine says they took the elderly aunt to the bank because they wanted to have ransom money in case they needed it. As for the $100 million civil lawsuit, neither Gross Point Police Department is commenting on it. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.